Hi, I'm Dr. Pammy Jean. Do you have days or weeks that you just feel too tired to get the things done you want to do? Do you have moments that you don't even feel like using words to explain something? I know I do. So let's talk about it. The fatigue and fibromyalgia is one of the hallmark symptoms. Fibro is more than chronic pain. Our ability to think quickly and our energy level are invisible and cause us to feel like no one understands us. According to WebMD, four out of five people with fibromyalgia are affected by severe fatigue. It's more than just feeling tired. We feel drained and exhausted, like we've just run a marathon. I know I've mentioned this before, but even when you feel fatigued, you need to move just a little bit. Don't overdo it or you'll end up in worse shape, but make an effort to stay out of bed because that will cause greater muscle weakness. When you move at an easy pace, you'll find that you're better able to think and make decisions, which helps with the foggy thinking. Strength training has helped me. Gentle movements help too, like stretching. Yoga and other movement therapies can help with the fatigue. I'm not very successful at yoga. <laughs> I have terrible balance and I'm extremely uncoordinated. When I'm feeling fatigued like this, I do gentle exercises while in a sitting position. I have some examples in my Pinterest and the link is below. I think one of the most troublesome things for me when I'm fatigued is that I find my to-do list overwhelming. I can't think past just one thing. When my husband and I were remodeling our kitchen, that was enough to exhaust me, but putting it back together I would get so overwhelmed, but I couldn't even make even the tiniest decision. Everything seemed like too much to handle. Fortunately, my husband understands this and he came to my rescue. We had this box full of kitchen stuff. It was like a mountain of kitchen stuff because I was so exhausted mentally and physically that it, it, it overwhelmed me. My nighttime baths are my happy place and help me to unwind at the end of the day. I can relax and enjoy the very warm water and rest my muscles. My point is you have to find the right balance. Pacing is essential. That wasn't possible when we were tearing out walls and putting up new kitchen cabinets. We did it ourselves and I'm proud of our accomplishment, but that was one time that I couldn't pace myself or we'd still be working on the kitchen. If you wanna see our kitchen remodel, uh, it'll be at the end of this video. But in my everyday life, I can pace myself and do things in manageable pieces. Pacing allows me to do a little bit, then rest a little bit. That's important because if you don't pace yourself, you'll end up with a flare that causes more fatigue and mental fog. Fibro fatigue is like having the flu. And according to Healthline, the fatigue is a result of our body trying to deal with the pain. Do your best to get a good night's sleep. I mean, I have restless leg syndrome and obstructive sleep apnea, but I have treatment for the obstructive sleep apnea. Um, and as long as I get to sleep before the restless legs start, um, I get a pretty good night's sleep. 
psychiatric disorders like depression or anxiety can also affect our sleep patterns. There are treatments for these, so please see your physician. You can assess your dietary habits. One of my doctors suggested that I do stretching before bed as a normal routine to help relax me at bedtime because stiffness is a big issue for me. According to Vincent et al, and I put a link to that study, fatigue can manifest in different ways. We may feel physical fatigue. We may feel physical fatigue, which is a lack of energy and physical exhaustion. Emotional fatigue which is a lack of motivation, or cognitive fatigue, which is the inability to think or concentrate. We might experience all of these at the same time, as I did when we were remodeling our kitchen. We may be impacted by any aspect of living, such as work, meeting our family's needs, or engaging in social activities. Researchers are now looking at fatigue as much as they look at pain. It's the second most common symptom in fibro next to pain. But one problem is, well, I know I don't do this. We don't go to the doctor to tell them we have fatigue and need help. Like we might if our pain gets out of hand. But in the study by Vincent, they put weakness, tiredness, exhaustion, stiffness, and depression in the same category. Patients with fibro explain their fatigue in this way, and this is a quote. An inescapable or overwhelming feeling of profound physical tiredness, weakness in the muscles, an uncontrollable, unpredictable, constant state of never feeling rested, a ghastly sensation of being totally drained of every fiber of energy, not proportional to effort exerted, not relieved by rest, having to do things more slowly, an invisible foe that creeps upon you unannounced and without warning, unquote. Do any of these hit on with you? Boy, they do me. Fatigue is interwoven, influenced, and intensified by pain and is sometimes more severe than pain. My goal for this channel is to put out two videos a week. And I've been able to do that so far. This week I have one uploading as I'm writing this. And this one will probably get uploaded on Thursday or Friday. And today's Thursday as, I, as I'm taping this. I pace myself. I know that I can't sit here and do this every day for eight hours. It takes a long time to do the research for these videos and get the recordings right, edit it right. It is time consuming, but I'm loving it. It's why it took me so long to finish my dissertation. I could only sit here for a couple hours at a time and until I could barely move, but I can sit here for small chunks of time. So that's what I do. In between, I get up and move. I do laundry, dishes, vacuum, whatever needs to be done, but even those are in small chunks. Oh, I'm worried this video is getting too long, so I'll leave it here. Please comment below, subscribe and like this video, and share it if you feel like you can. I send you gentle hugs and support your way. Have a wonderful day. Love you. Um, I, uh, I, I, am. Uh, I'm blister bits. You like me? Mm.
This is the right side of our kitchen. We wanted it to um, provide us with a sink, a stove, a refrigerator, and as you can see we've got uh, some of that put in here. I didn't get the uppers, but in the back of the room we removed it down the walls down to the studs and on the left side as well. Here we've got our cabinets and our drywall in. Um, not securely. We weren't able to mud it and all that because this was the week before uh, Thanksgiving, but we got it up so we could live. We had to cover everything um, so it wouldn't get ruined before we stained it. Nothing's been painted yet or anything yet, um, except for on the right side of the room. But um, we were able to celebrate Thanksgiving and then at the week of Christmas here, you can see that we got it finished. It's not totally finished. We don't have our backsplash in and some of the trim, but for the most part, it's done and we love it. Um, the mess was incredible. As you can see from the pictures, um, trying to put all of this stuff in other rooms of the house. So please like, share, and subscribe.